Hey everyone, welcome back to Jason Explains Things. I have another shop improvement video for you today. Uh, I have been really busy out here trying to get this space uh, totally functional and ready to start using again. There are tons of hobbies, things I like to do that I have not done since I moved here. I started on this wall right here, adding an outlet and doing some painting for my large air compressor so it can sit right there in the middle of the space so I can use it in either bay. Then I went along, follow with me everyone. <laughs> I went along and did some painting. I re uh, replaced outlets, light switches, just kind of making everything a lot better. I finished installing that heat pump air conditioner and heater from Mr. Cool and there's a video all about that if you're interested. Anyway, uh, after that I finally got my antique auto parts metal cabinet off the ground. It's been in the corner uh, collecting dust. It's back on the wall. It's full of parts. I unpacked several bins of parts. Today's project is all going to be dealing with this area right here from this spot to this spot, roughly 60 inches. We are going to be assembling an industrial grade uh, steel workbench from Uline that I ordered. We're gonna be modifying a little bit to add casters because I didn't wanna buy the Uline casters because they were $100. Like I said a couple times probably, um, just buy the cat. If you, if you buy this uh, desk, just get the caster kit because it's actually a lot less work and might even be cheaper. But I still did it myself. And then after that, we're gonna be building a very nice high quality pegboard that's, gonna, that's going to fill that entire void to get wrenches and all sorts of other tools up on the wall and super exciting. I, 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 I'm not joking how exciting this is to me. Maybe that makes me old and lame. Literally goosebumps. <laughs> I, I have been wanting to work on stuff like this. I've been like gathering projects and finally, we're gonna get to them. This is going to be my kind of my, my mechanical workbench where we're gonna be working on maybe like tearing down an engine or rebuilding a carburetor. That kind of stuff will be done in this space. And then as we go, you know, the rest of the shop, I'm gonna get to it, all this stuff too. Uh, I'm gonna be building a lot of uh, woodworking stuff and storage and, you know, miter saw stand and, uh, and a big table saw like mobile thing. I hope you can subscribe because there are so many more videos coming over the next several months as we, as I, and as we finally make this space into an awesome workspace. I'm excited, hopefully you can tell. <laughs> so let's get started putting this workbench together. That's the main workbench assembled, nice and uh, nice and strong, but we're not quite done yet. I'm going to be adding uh, casters to this. By the way, a Uline does sell a caster kit for this. Uh, I thought it was kind of a ripoff, and after going and buying each individual part of that, it kind of turns out to be what it costs. It's like. Uh, also though, we're gonna be adding, uh, as you can see here, there's some cutouts to add uh, some outlets. So we're gonna be wiring some outlets to this bench. So come along with me as we do those two things. <clears throat> so these are the casters I picked up for this project. These are some nice heavy duty locking swivel casters. Also, each of these is rated at 250 pounds. So that is a nice heavy duty caster.
Hey, look at that. That is awesome. I love it. That little last piece I just did in the center there is to make sure that the pegboard doesn't kind of uh, wobble or anything when I kind of press on it. It is a very nice thick pegboard from a local uh, lumber yard, so I don't think that it's gonna require a full piece right there. Anyway, let's go ahead and cut the pegboard and get it up on the wall. Oh, hi. You, uh, you caught me gazing at this wall. <laughs> anyway, I'm really, really happy with the desk, really happy with the pegboard. It, uh, it really finishes out this little section of the shop is now done, which is super awesome. I really, really love it. And it just gets me motivated to just keep going with the rest of it. Um, but anyway, that's why you should like this video, share it, and subscribe, and turn on notifications because a whole lot more shop videos and other awesome videos about awesome other things like motorcycles and all sorts of stuff are coming up really, really soon. So until next time, my friends, don't forget to do it yourself. All right, bye. I'm gonna stare at the wall now. <laughs>